Kia ora and welcome back. My name is Zoe Stiebe, your vocal coach for today. And in today's video, I am going to be taking a look at Henning May. So he's from Anime Kantarei uh, with Giant Rooks performing Tom's Diner. Now, I saw the shorts of this and I was like, oh, I have to listen to the full song. This sounds freaking incredible. Henning May is an amazing German singer. Enough about it. Let's get to what they're up to with their vocal technique. I am sitting in the morning at the diner on the corner. I am waiting at the counter for the man to pour the coffee. And he feels it only halfway. And before I even argue, he is looking out the window at somebody coming. I love it. I know that honestly, that wasn't so surprising because of the, I did watch the short of, I mean, like was literally that moment as well. And I do know Animai Kantarai because I love suggesting them to singers because their music is just awesome. Yeah. Ah, let's go back and have a look at that because their voices are completely different, completely different. Um, but one thing that you'll really hear there is the difference in the levels of constriction that is being used. So constriction is when you have the true vocal folds and then you have the false vocal folds which sit over top of the true vocal folds. And they're part of the three-part mechanism that closes the airway in order to protect the lungs. And when the false vocal folds come over the true vocal folds, that's what creates that that constricted sound that they are creating. Let's just go watch that again and we're going to stop and start it. Okay, I know, we know he's going to go. I know Henning May is going to start. Ah! Um, but you can really hear there this sort of like, it almost sounds quite relaxed in the delivery. I don't know the name of that guy. What's the name of that guy? Ah, okay. Actually, I did not know that uh, Giant Rooks is also a German band. Okay. I need to go and see them. Anyway, Friedrich um, Rabe, he has quite a relaxed sound, actually. I know it sounds like a little bit constrict. There's a little bit of that scratch coming in there. But at the same time, it sounds very spoken on pitch. Um, you want to make sure that you're keeping the volume relatively low in that sense so that you're just speaking. And between the do's and the de and the and the, the singing, there's not that much of a difference for them. I mean, you could also see is like quite a bit in in the the posture that's going on. So when we think about posture for singing, I mean, it's not optimal, but like pff, whatever, it sounds really really good. And as long as he's not having any issues with it, then there's not a problem in my books about that. So let's talk about Henning May though, because he's about to come and let's go back on that. I am sitting morning at the diner on the corner i am waiting at the counter for the man to pour the coffee and he feels it only halfway and before i even argue he is looking out the window at somebody coming in <gasps> hmm. 
so much to say about Henning May's voice. Okay, you can see there, let's just go back to that still, looking at the work that's going on within the neck. That looks like there's a lot going on. You can see there that the fist is quite tight there. Um, there's also work going on along the shoulders. It's sort of telling me that there's a bit of, you know, tension travel. So it's telling me that the tension is kind of going to other places within the body. I would almost say he could probably create that. So, I mean, he does actually play the guitar at the same time as singing. So I'm fairly certain that actually that extraneous tension would go away as soon as you put a guitar in his hand. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. But just watching that level of tension within the neck as well, um, you want to, if, you, if you're working at this, I, I would suggest maybe standing a little bit more upright um, and just really watching this, this level of constriction that's going on. But we're going to look into how you can create that type of sound. Let's just keep watching. For the man to pour the coffee. And he feels it only halfway. And before I even argue, he is looking out the window at somebody coming. It is always nice to see you Says the man behind the counter To the woman who is coming She's shaking her umbrella And I look the other way Okay, we're going to have to go and have another look at that one to really get an idea of what he was up to with his voice there. Look, as I said before, the posture thing, honestly, we only really need to look at correcting some of these things when something is going wrong. So if you're having trouble with high notes or if you're feeling like your voice is scratching, you're catching or coughing, then, then maybe then it could be posture. Any of these like technique points are just like, it could be. So what you often do in a singing lesson is we're trying to find out what the root cause of the problem is. And then we're going to look to um, to work on the root cause of these things and not just kind of like put a band-aid over it. So let's just go back at that. Um, She's shaking her breath. very pleased with himself doesn't he so the, and, and I would be too as well when you're looking at this level of uh, constrictions we need to be careful about making sure that we're not pressing down too hard that we're only using the amount of tension that we need to complete the task that we're trying to complete we, you know we don't want to be doing too much to the sound I'm in a way that you can create that, maybe maybe not quite to the extent that he's doing it, but like a, a little way that you can practice it. You can do like an old man, or like you're picking up something heavy, and you can just feel that little bit coming through, and always making sure that you're working on the relaxation or the retraction, so taking those false vocal folds away from the true vocal folds. I want you to think about that this wide space within the throat. So you've got, ah, and my fabulous colleague, Alessandro Campone, um, who also works with me on my metal voice technique. I'll put a link in the description below for his um, information, but we work on the inhale slack vocal folds. Ah which I absolutely love um, to work on releasing all of that tension as well. So we're going to go into a little bit more technical uh, details a little bit later, but let's have another look at Friedrich Rabe. And I love the other way As they are kissing their hellos 
And I'm pretending not to see them And instead I pull the milk Oh, that's cool. I love it. I love it. They just look like they're having so much fun. That's the main part about singing, isn't it? Just to have, like, fucking fun. Absolutely love Friedrich's voice, and I, I, this is so fantastic. It looks like it's sitting at quite a comfortable place in his vocal range. I and mean, I'm really liking these little, <laughs> I think he did it. I am waiting in the corner. So you can think about this going from thick vocal folds into falsetto. So, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, and when you're really thinking about um, almost like, oh, I don't care, and sort of almost what well, this posture looks like that as well, then you're going to get potentially, depending on your vocal history or your what you've learned or how you've learned your singing, um, then you're going to probably get your false vocal folds in more of a mid position, um, which is an excellent way to just bring in a little bit of this constriction, a little bit of this crackle coming in, um, but without overdoing it. Ah, let's... And I love the other way As they are kissing their hellos And I'm pretending not to see them and instead I pull the milk I really love I know sorry like I'm stopping right before the end of the song I should have just let it run shouldn't I nah fuck it let's just let it run So fantastic. I am like, I'm so excited about 2022 and going to see so much live music. I tell you, you're going to see me there when Ann and Mein Kanterei are in uh, Munich. I'm going to be there. And the giant rooks, I'm going to be there as well. I'm going to be jamming out. Da, 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 da. And they probably won't sing the song. But anyway, what else do I have to say about their vocal technique? Honestly, I think I already said it. I, I think what I really love about the, the performance itself is they're so different. And it's fantastic to see. If you're someone who's looking to create these types of sounds, then think about 
mimicking is the way that we learn. So of course, you know, copy your favorite artists, like get to know them, but eventually you've got to make your own decisions. So that's what I work on with my students as well as in the end, it's your decision to make. I just give you tools. I give you suggestions and I, you know, say, okay, well maybe you'll hit that note, but better if you try it this way. Um, but in the end, it's ultimately your decision and it's your instrument. And that's what I love about these two guys is that they've found their sound, if you could say it like that. Um, and it just sounds really, really individual. And I absolutely love it. Um, I would suggest, though, if you are looking to create a song pr as constricted or as strongly as Henning May, I, I would definitely play a little bit more on the cautious side of things. Um, I just want to make sure that you're looking after your vocal health. So if you do notice a loss of function, so like with a mm, when you're doing a slide and you feel like you can't get a a decent clean slide, then I, then I would still um, recommend that you go and visit an ENT surgeon. I'm not trying to scare Munger here. It's just all about the longevity of the voice. And I also don't know actually um, if he's a smoker because um, that would also play a really big role if he's a smoker. Um, smoking can cause an edema on the vocal fold. So that's where fluid builds underneath the um, epithelium on the vocal fold and that causes them to thicken um, and then that causes a deeper voice as well. Um, so it's really about like thinking about what their lifestyle choices are as well before you think about creating those sorts of sounds. But anyway, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Anne and my Kantarai and uh, Giant Rooks as love this cover. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you want to learn more about vocal technique, check the links in the description below because my Fundamentals of Singing course is out. I cover the first 10 fundamental aspects of learning to sing and improving your singing voice as well. If you're someone who has struggles with their singing voice or you're not sure how to improve, it's a really great roadmap for you. But if you want to support this channel, the biggest way, and of course, the most free way that you can support the channel is just give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Honestly, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support because I just want to help you sing better in the comfort of your own home. And that's what I'm all about. <sighs> Rocking out to some good music and giving you technique advice. So thank you so much for joining me here today, everyone in and I will see you back here next time for more geeking out about vocal technique. Kakitano. <laughs>